Eight times employees quit mid shift on bar rescue. Imagine if I were to just do that here, like halfway through a video. Done! And then dead ass like didn't come back. How y'all doing? First video of the new year and I'm already ready to quit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever quit a job mid shift. My old roommate Dustin did. Y'all remember Dustin? He's been on this channel before. He was a server while I was bartending, got in a fight with management, and just went home. I had to cover those tables, Dustin. Quitting a job, not really my style. Being fired, <laughs> adds more my speed. I feel like the only reasons I would ever quit a job is if I was being treated unfairly or if the pay was just like abysmal and not worth it. But who knows, let's see what reasons these people got. And in the comments down below, make sure you let me know if you think these people are quitting for good reasons or if you think they're being big babies. And it's fine if they are being big babies. There's a career in being big babies, trust. I live in Los Angeles. I know plenty of people whose careers are being big babies. I've seen that OnlyFans link. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for future ones. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Are you gonna be a part of this or am I gonna run you over? That's the deal. Everyone, welcome, welcome to Jack's Ale House. Come on in. Oh. A lot of people ordering food. We have some Cassadillas coming out. I'm throwing one on right now. Who still needs a drink? More than half the room. Come on, let's go. I've been sitting here for like 15 minutes. They haven't even acknowledged me. Like, I don't even exist here. Kristen, take these. Hey, ladies. First of all, she's also like two rows of people behind getting to the bar yet. So maybe that's why sweets. Don't make me defend these bartenders who are about to be quitters this early in the video. We just started. Stop it, stop. You're stressing me out. Am I the only one that's that's how bartenders say, I love you. When a bartender tells you to get the F out the way and that they hate everything about you, that's them telling you, I love you, good job. Or maybe that's just how it was in New York City. <laughs> Is it alarming that I associate verbal assault with love? Yeah, it's a mess, it's overwhelming. I'm outside dealing with all those people and I have to put drinks up here but nothing's getting made. So I went back and did it myself. All I knew what I was doing and I did it. We have the bar that's so- That's perfect, that is perfect. When a server knows what they're doing, if it's an easy drink and beer, they're actually trained to go back and grab it themselves so that if, if they're over capacitated, capacity, over capacitated, is that a word? I genuinely do over capacitated. If they're over capacity, if they're crowded, then they're able to handle it in this way so that they don't get too far backed up because the bar is probably slammed and then having to deal with tables is just too much. So having a staff that can pick up the little things is actually very helpful. So that server is great. Drinking back here this entire time, whenever you drink behind the bar, putting liability on the bar itself because of your own judgments in here, you cannot judge what's going on out here. Stop it. <laughs> not, no, not, that's not true. Legally, do I have to say that that's true? Yes. Am I gonna sit here and say that I don't drink during a shift? We all know that that's a damn lie. Sometimes drinking during a shift <laughs> helps, especially if you're dealing with a lot. It helps get yourself situated. This is bad advice. I don't know why, I don't know why just drinking makes me a better bartender. That's bad advice. That's the wrong thing to say, but I'm gonna be honest and be truthful and say it. Oh God, the MTV bartender is telling you to drink during your shift. Oh. Bartenders that drink during their shift are the least of your worries. Look for the overly sweaty ones that can't make eye contact with you that go to the bathroom a lot. They're doing other things. I made it clear to Jimmy this afternoon that he was to show discipline. Yeah! Mr. Hero is no hero to me. Mr. Kennedy, you say you to either of these bartenders one more time, I will embarrass you ass. And I'll tell you one thing, you take one drink, I'll fire you in front of everyone. I think we did this scene in like the first bar of re Panda Reacts to Bar Rescue sh Stuff. I'm trying so hard not to curse. I'm trying so hard not to curse. Monetization, please. I think this is one of the clips we reacted to in one of the first bar rescue videos I ever did, which was overdue firings. Hello. You hear me? You take another drink, I'll fire your ass in front of your brothers. That's the deal. You know, here's the problem. He's getting caught drinking during his shift. I might be over here saying that. You know, it's a fi it's fine, it's not a big deal. Even though like, if you get caught, you'll get fired. Like, don't do it. But like, it's fine, it's not a big deal. However, I did work at bars where it was not a lot. Not to say I didn't do it. I just didn't get caught. I wasn't up in your face about it. That's the problem. At least be sneaky. That's the deal. Who the are you talking to? I'm talking to you. You're failing because you're a Wow. Either he is leaving this bar now or I am. 
Jimmy, get the out of here. Nope. Oh, yeah. Jim, out. Bye. This is such bull. But th he didn't quit. He didn't quit. He was fired mid shift. Okay. I said I have never quit a job mid shift. Fired mid shift. Okay. Now, we're, now listen, listen. I'm just like literally TV. I'm literally this network. This is how, like, this, I, hello. Cause he blew his top and was screaming at Josh. Like that's like if management catches you drinking when you're not supposed to and you curse them out. Then guess what? You're an employee that shouldn't be drinking during your shift. I think that if you're somebody who can't drink during your shift, then you shouldn't be a bartender. And that's just how I see it. It could be wrong. You guys can yell at me in the comments. That's just how I see the world. But then again, the way I see the world might not necessarily be the best way to see the world. Ah, I'm going in. been a big night for us thank you he wait he wait he didn't want to he didn't want to leave yet so he went back in the bar to fill his mouth with fireball spit it in the air and then say now he'll leave like he just made a big at least pick better alcohol you guys spit something in the air like it's triumphant and you choose fireball my guy that's gonna get sticky now we're gonna have ants we're down a bartender and we got ants all right so last night you guys were asked about a gimlet which is a very much classic cocktail what's in a gimlet I have no idea. So nobody comes in and orders a gimlet ever. Stop it. Stop it. No, stop it. Come on. A gimlet. Come on. Is this training? Please tell me they're being trained. Come on. A gimlet. What's in a gimlet? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. A gimlet is literally just gin with lime juice and simple syrup. It's like, it that's it. That's it. You could also make it with vodka if it's asked for it. But that's, that's literally all it is. And these people don't know how to make a gimlet. Do they also not know how to make a vodka soda? What's in a gimlet? I have no idea. So nobody no idea. comes in and orders a gimlet ever, which I have never sold in 16 years, not once. I'll just tell you right now. Okay, Miss Snooty McSnooter Snoot. You want to be a snook? Go snoot your snoot somewhere else, you snoot. Nobody's ever ordered a gimlet in 16 years. Have they ordered a gin and lot? Sweetie, they might have not just been calling it a gimlet. There's no way. There's no, I do not believe. I do not believe you. In 16 years, no one else, no one's ordered a gimlet. Where do you work? A cave? Like, what's going on? And she's got an attitude about it. She's got an attitude. I already, you know, I don't like you. I don't like you or your face. Are you just winging it? I mean, are you counting? What are you doing? A little bit of volts, I guess. Okay. Well, let's all taste it. That watermelon still is too punchy. And Elisa, in no way am I knocking your drink. I just think the proportions might be off. These people got a whole bunch of nerve. You're on a shelf because your bar's failing. You're failing. They're here to help you. And you're on TV. And you got an effing attitude like you know all. If you knew all, you wouldn't be on a show looking like a damn idiot because you're failing. And these people that came in to help you and I get an attitude. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. This early in the new year, I'm pissed. The only thing good about me being this pissed is you get to see how bouncy my new hair is, guys. Look at this shiz. Shiz. Uh, shiz. That's what we're saying in 2024. Shiz. Thank you, monetization, for demonetizing my channel. <laughs> the whole point, the whole point of this training, Elisa, is to improve and get better. I hope I didn't offend you. This is exactly what I don't want. She hasn't had to do a damn thing. She literally hasn't had to do anything tough yet. She was asked how to make a gimlet, and it's too hard for her. What the heck? How are you a bartender? Get out! Get out! You know, leave! Leave! I think she had a little problem with the criticism because that was a drink that she'd made up. If you want to go, if you want to go, you Thank go. Thank you. All right. Thanks. She just, she doesn't deal well with pressure stuff like that. I wish she'd have stayed, but under the circumstances, I thought that it would be better if she just went home. There wasn't a lot. Like, I don't understand what the big deal is. Is this just me? Like, I don't know what was so hard. She had to hear that her drink wasn't the best. Okay. I mean, I'm acting like if someone didn't tell me my drink wasn't amazing, I wouldn't have stormed out of there at the same time. But like, we're talking about somebody else. So like, oh my God, she's being completely unreasonable. <laughs> if the person that is supposed to be training doesn't want to learn, yeah. What do you think is going to happen next? So I had to let her go. She was supposed to be training? The woman who doesn't know how to make a gimlet is training. Okay, I can already tell you why this bar is failing. <laughs> Up 
upstairs is open as well. Hi, how are you? What's you there? Too much pineapple? Too much pineapple. Dump it or remake it. All right, guys, it's go time. Okay, what we're seeing here is that there's two different bars. And one is obviously busier, and the bartenders down there are killing it and hustling. Meanwhile, the bartenders at the dead bar don't know what the hell they're doing. That happens at all bars. <laughs> if there's multiple bars within a bar, the one that gets the least amount of traffic, that's where you stick the bartenders that suck. You got any food orders for me for the run? Let me know. I'll run them downstairs. I have one right here. What is it? Pizza pie, half pepperoni. I need a slice, too. A slice? Okay. okay. So this is for upstairs, one cheese pie, and I need a slice for upstairs, okay? So, Tom, what are we doing? You have to go up, see if they have any tickets. Yes. But they're what? too busy. I have to. So they're running up and down. Right, right, right. Terrible, terrible. They need a POS system. They need a system that when there's a food order, you put it in the computer and the kitchen gets it instantly. This poor old man. This poor old man that if he, God forbid, slips in a bar, is going to break it. You're expecting this old man to bust his hump? Running up and down, running up and down these stairs, and to remember things, this poor man in a fedora. He's running up and down those freaking stairs all night. He's gonna have a heart attack on those steps. We need better systems. We gotta get a POS system in here. Allie, where's this going? Thank. Hello. Hello. Sam, where's your smile, girl? I don't know. Drop it. No, I wanna leave. That's not the attitude we're looking for, boo. Sam, her anxiety is increasing by the moment. I'm going home. Here you go. Going home? Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm done. What do you mean you're gone? I'm tired. I'm done. What? I'm tired. I'm Sam, gone. where are you going? I'm going home. Sam. And there she goes, walking out the door. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Listen, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why I don't have sympathy. I used to have to work three days in a row at the Abbey, the most famous gay bar in the world during Pride. And you don't understand! Do you understand the crowds? Do you understand the amount of drink orders? Do you understand? This is what broke me. The things I would need to do in order to finish my shift. I didn't go home. I slipped in the back. This woman's been here for what? Two hours max? And she can't handle, she can't handle a basement bar? Oh, go home. Go home. Get, get out of here. You know what? You're unsuited for the rage of war. So back up. Go home. You're through. Yum yum. Add ice glass. Build in your drink glass right there. Then you add ice both glasses. Then you shake. Then you strain. No. He's absolutely right, and you do that so you don't water down the drink. Because if you put the ice in the drink and then you know how she's taking a million years, like if you're a fast bartender, it wouldn't really matter. But she's taking a million years, so think about it. The alcohol's sitting there in the ice, so it's diluting it as time goes by. That's why they're telling them not to add the ice in until later. Just for anybody else who was curious. Nope. Hey, it's two whiskey, one I lemon juice. That. No, you did three quarters whiskey and three quarters simple. If you were here, you would have yeah, known. Yeah, I got it. Yep. Always glass to the back. Glass to the back, tin to the front. Don't ever, don't ever do that. Pour out of your tin. He's not, okay, so she doesn't know the drink recipe. She doesn't know how to shake. She's taking a million years to, How do you get hired to work in a bar? How are these people have jobs? If the only place that will hire me is here. <laughs> All right. What are you doing? Done. I quit. Am I making my own drinks then? You just lost yum yum. I want to know what other jobs these people get because like this wasn't this isn't a high pressure bar They you know, the editing makes it look like much more difficult like this wasn't a lot to deal with So like what can you deal with or maybe it is a lot I mean, I kind of like broke down Maybe I kind of like lost my sanity doing years of bartending so like maybe I shouldn't talk This is the slowest Mother's Day we've had ever child since I've been here in 10 years and we can't do our job He's not cleaning the kitchen. He's not organizing the kitchen. He's not cleaning the kitchen. What the hell does this guy do all day? You have a lot of nerve, ma'am. You have a lot of nerve, ma'am. Now that wet chicken is going in the fryer. Yeah, and wait till you see this fryer. Look at this. Pause. I don't know anything about cooking. I, I'm not a cook, okay? But I do, I've, I've heard from my experience just wasting time in the kitchens that if, if it bubbles, if there's a lot of foam, that means it's like if there's, there's fungus or there's bacteria in the fryer if there's a lot of if there's a lot of bubbles or something like that. 
Look at that. Look at the foam. Oh, my God. I've never seen it that bad, ever. I've never. That tells me that the bottom of the fryer is not being clean. So all that stuff is kind of floating to the top. A chef! Oh, I'm a chef! I'm going to get a job as a chef. Look at you can't let stuff sit in here. This is disgusting, guys. you got to shut this place down. There are some things that need to be cleaned, but at the same time, we don't have proper cleaning facilities to clean any of this. So when you open this bar, what was the deal with So I, I have a question. I have a question. I don't know how this kind of stuff runs, but like if you don't have the proper ways to get clean things, how do you stay open? How do you stay open? Is the health department a unicorn? Is it a myth? I say this in almost half my videos. Is it a myth? And I know it's not because I dealt with it in every single establishment I've ever worked at. It's like a fear and they come in, like, they come in, they do, I've dealt with them. So like, what happens? Is there only certain parts of the world the health department is a thing? Someone in the comments explain. So did you change this oil? Look at the color of these chefs, is that right? No, so look at that oil. Okay, there were fries in there, I would've ate those. <laughs> you did is disrespectful to your customers. I'm, I'm trying to do what I can do. You're I'm, gonna get I'm, somebody I'm, I'm, I'm sick. I'm one guy in here trying to do what I can do. So are you they're a saying, whip? Saying, are you an idiot? Saying, are you lazy? What I want to understand is I hear this excuse all the time. I'm only one guy, do what I can do. But the thing you're doing is bad. <laughs> what you are doing is not good. So like if you were one guy doing what you could do and the things you were doing was good, we wouldn't have much to talk about. Now would we, Raul? I'm trying to do the best I can do, the best I know how to do. And yeah, we're up tonight. So the best you can do sucks. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And I understand we're up, but that's really disrespectful, sir. Well, because that was disrespectful and life isn't fair. So if you want my help, you're going to have to deal with the fact that I do disrespect you. He's talking about getting respect. He wears a prison card. He was just talking about how he was a prison guard. I, I, I want to know how respectful he was to those inmates. And, 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 do you understand? Do you see? Do you see the analogy I'm trying to make? You could give it, but you can't take it, Mama. You ain't versed at all. It was like getting bum rushed by inmates, dude. To be honest with you, I mean, I've trained for this kind of thing when I was in the tactical team. You know what I mean? Where inmates bum rush you like that, but I was I was totally out, caught off guard. Dude. But you couldn't handle a guy throwing around some fries. Mama, just eat the fries and shut up. <laughs> Like John Taffersetti, he's gonna help him become a better manager, and he's gonna help me become a better owner. He said it. He's gonna teach you how to run this bar. Uh, he's gonna teach me how to be a better businessman. Let's do it. And I'm all for it. You know. So let's get past how we got here right now, and let's move forward. I'll give this. This guy's doing great. This guy was like, "Listen, I know you just got yelled at, but I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna help you fix what he was just yelling at you about." But the other guy's in his feelings because he got yelled at. Stop! These big, muscular, straight, masculine men can't have, can't handle being yelled at. Stop! We put our listen, heart and soul listen. To we told no. her. Listen, no, no, no. I no, was no, telling no. her straight up. It's for the better for everybody. No, no, it's not. That's, that's not, not for you. True. That's not true. What that's do you mean it's not for you? That's not true. It ain't better for me and her. That's not true. Listen, bro. Good luck. I really can't. I, I can't. Like if these people, you get yelled at, and you're so affected. Like, your feelings are so hurt. Oh, my. I can't yell that. I gotta leave. I gotta go home. These brothers need to figure out if they even want to do this and if they can even work together. If they come back tomorrow, I'll help them rescue their bar. Right now, they need to rescue themselves. Y'all straight men need to learn how to humble yourself. Y'all need to learn how to be a sub just like once to figure it the F out. Are you kidding? All right, sell that as way too much head. First beer up, first beer down. Oh, uh, come on, damn it. Way too much head. They're not pouring the beers properly and the beer is probably not at the right temperature. That's why it's that foamy coming out of the tap. Somebody, there's several people that are not doing their jobs. Andrea, Rick, Josh, the head on this beer disappeared instantly. The glass itself was in the beer clean ready. It is a good quality. Not, is it not only clean probably, it also wasn't chilled. <laughs> that adds to how long the head will last as well. That means they don't have a busing system to, for somebody to make sure that that's all taken care of, or they're just not doing it at all, which is worse. Come here for one second, please. You never took the order from the other half of the table. You said you'd come back, you didn't. I can't put no more orders and I'm still waiting for these drinks to come out. Why wouldn't you put all of them in and say, I'm gonna get your orders in? Why would you wait for half the table's order drinks to come out before you put the other half of the table's orders in so that they could all come out at the same time? 
What? Why wouldn't you put all of them in and say, I'm gonna get your orders in, we're a little backed up, guys, they'll come out as quickly as... But then at least they all come out! I was trying to help... I, I love it. I love it when what I say happens. I love it when he confirms what I say! Here. They're all yelling at me in there. Leave me alone. I'm done. I'm leaving. Stay out of my way. Just get this off. I'm leaving. I quit, O'Kelly. Get the cameras off. All you had to do, all you were told to do is, hey, you're putting in the drinks wrong. Just put them all together. That's all. That's it. That's it. You weren't asked to paint the fucking Mona Lisa. Are you done with that one? Yes, please. Can I get... Do you want to make a side card? Um, can I just get, uh, just a Manhattan? No, we can't make Manhattans because we don't have the sweet vermouth. Okay, so you don't know how to make a sidecar. You can't make a Manhattan because you don't have sweet vermouth. What bar? What bar does not have sweet vermouth? Can I get just like a vodka gimlet? They don't know how to make a gimlet from me. And now we're going to have a sweet thing. And I'm not going to deal with it. That's a vodka gimlet? This is just like a bunch of roses. Lime juice. Yeah. Okay, well, 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 well. Technically, that, that is like the worst gimlet. <laughs> the rose is lime juice. It, that's like sweet lime juice, but you have to make sure that the balance and the measurements are right. Being a bartender is also being able to balance a cocktail and not make it too sweet or not sweet enough. And we're talking about messing up a gimlet. A vodka gimlet. It's, it, it's, it's. It's vodka, lime, and a little bit sweet. Make a mojito. I want to see what happens when you have, make a Mai Tai. I just want to see what happens. Or like Gimlet's and Manhattan's and all these like foo foo drinks and they're like, oh, she did it wrong. I don't want to be here. I'm not coming in tomorrow. I'm done. So when They're ordering Manhattan's and Gimlet's and these foo foo drinks that I don't want to, what? Those are the most basic, easy drinks. Are you kidding me? Hey, stop, stop, stop. I don't give a million other bars to go higher at. I'm not doing this. Wow. She sped out of there because she was asked to make a Manhattan and a Gimlet. I'm gonna pee my pants. You guys need to pay all your tabs and get the f out of my bar right now. We're done. That's just it's not a good time to mention the soup is cold. Oh, that's not a way to keep people coming back. Get the F out of my bar and pay you tab. That's not gonna make them come back. Okay, so we see another reason why the bar is failing. Tracy concedes pirates has to change. She and John must now break the news to the rest of the band of pirates. This pirate episode must be insane. And I would react to the whole episode by now if I feel like we already haven't already had. Was that words? We haven't already already had. We, like, like, we haven't already. I guess we'll have to play pirates somewhere else. Guys, we gotta fill this bar for lunch. I gotta fill it for happy hour, or we're dead. I will never understand these people. Like, they're, they're, they're mad because they don't get to play pirates at work. Yeah, work! Go play pirates at home! Do it online, make some money, I don't know. If you don't like what I'm doing, so be it. Cause I'm not here to prove myself to you. You gotta prove yourself to me. Are you here tomorrow or not? Is he about to walk the plank? There you go, playing pirates. So, are you gonna be a part of this or am I gonna run you over? That's the deal. I am done with- I don't understand. <laughs> you don't got enough booty to continue playing pirates. You're not making enough shillings to continue make playing pirates. If you want the buried treasure, you gotta stop playing pirates. I am not gonna be berated by some overbearing ass. I'm not gonna let him ruin it for you. Okay, wait, he's like, I'm not gonna be degraded. What do you think your whole job, like what? But what, but there's so much honor in serving things in pirate outfit. This is, this is a kink I don't understand. And I guess that's it. I guess those are all the huge reasons people had to quit on live television on Bar Rescue. What do you guys think? Were any of these actual reasons 
to quit mid shift. Were any of these, like, have you guys, did you relate to any of these people? Do you feel bad for any of them? Or am I being too hard on them? I didn't see a single reason worthy of quitting mid shift. Have you ever quit a job, whether it was mid shift or not? Why? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe for future ones. I put them out weekly, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but sometimes I'm late, just like your mom. Special thanks to everybody over on Patreon, especially those of you who switched over to memberships here on this channel, especially the regulars and barflies who help make this channel possible. And if it's it, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm Mike MGTV, and you're freaking welcome. Goodbye. I brought the